than an elephant. Their hearts the size of a car. Despite all that, we really know very little about the magnificent blue whales. Man has almost hunted them to extinction. But ironically, it was Sri Lanka's bitter civil war that gave them sanctuary. Only now that the war is over, is the world seeing one of the greatest blue whale colonies ever discovered. These pictures are incredible. And Tim Noonan was right there alongside these giants. It's the largest animal that's ever roamed the planet. It's immense. It's, it's just unfathomable, I think. It's built so perfectly, so streamlined. It's as if the ocean parts to make way for a living submarine. We're just metres away from the biggest creature that's ever roamed the planet. 30 metres long, weighing 140 tonnes. Pretty huge, huh? I mean, they're all bloody massive. It's really hard to imagine that an animal that large can exist at our doorstep, and we know so little about it. We're on a scientific expedition to a kingdom of rare blue whales located off the coast of Sri Lanka. We'll get as close as anyone ever has to these timid giants. Here he goes. Oh, look at that fluke. That's yeah. nice. That's really nice. But no one expected this. Look how close. Oh my god, it's coming up! Almost all blue whales travel vast distances in search of food, from the warm waters of the equator to the North and South Poles. But in Sri Lanka, a tropical island about the size of Tasmania, the blue whales are different. They don't seem to migrate at all, and as yet, no one knows why. Blue whales in other parts of the world migrate vast distances, but the ones out here seem to hang around all year round, so it's, it's pretty unusual. Our guide is marine biologist Asher DeVos from the University of Western Australia. Asher was born in Sri Lanka and leads the first major study of these unique blue whales. This is the least known population of blue whales in the world. But until now, it hasn't been safe to research these whales, has it? No, we've just come out of a 30-year civil war, and during that time, we didn't have access to these whales. We couldn't go out to sea. But now we've got the opportunity, and it's a time for us to really try to understand these populations. Now this wild ocean has been reopened, and Ash's scientific study is beginning. But for a long time, she thought this day would never come. This is a, a part of the world where women aren't in the forefront of things. And I think that was one of my biggest challenges, you know, convincing people that I could do it. Even though I'm not a man, I don't need to be a man to do what I do. I want to know more. I want to know more about the largest animal that's ever roamed the planet. We don't know anything about it, and it's hard for me to understand how these huge creatures can be just there and we know next to nothing. Oh, well, well, well. Is that a blue? Yeah, it's a blue. There's a blue right out there. We're 20 kilometers off the southern tip of Sri Lanka. There she is, just there. There he is, there he is, whoa. As we get closer, the blue whale hears the engine and dives. Our quest will not be easy. They're incredibly elusive. What, what's their personality? They're really shy and very timid. One minute you see them and then that's it. That's it, they're gone. So we've got one shot, one chance. Pretty much. Um, and we have to just keep scouring the ocean all the time to make sure we don't miss out. There it is. Going again. Perfect. This whale doesn't get spooked. It 
it's immense. It's, it's just unfathomable, I think. Beneath the surface, you get a true sense of the whale's immense size. Covered with remora fish, some almost a metre long. We kind of think its heart is the size of a small car. We think a child could crawl through its arteries. The tail from tip to tip would be about three metres. It's so huge, but when it moves, it's so gentle and, and, and absolutely graceful when, it, when it's about to dive and it lifts its tail out of the water and just slithers gently into the water. Not, there's no huge splash. There's, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's just so smooth and clean. Blue whales were a prime target for hunters last century. No other whale delivered as much oil and meat. Hundreds of thousands were killed. In the last 50 years, their numbers have hardly increased. Only 10,000 are left, which is why they remain endangered. Okay. Right there. Asher photographs skin markings and tails which are called flukes. They're a whale's fingerprints. Her photo album is the first whale census here. She's also marking the exact location of every whale we see. We can paint some kind of picture of what might be happening underwater. And above water, there's danger in all directions. Asher's whales are right in the middle of one of the busiest shipping lanes on Earth. Her research is looking at whether a slight change of course for the ships might reduce collisions with whales. But the biggest potential threat to whales from peace is a new and unregulated whale watching industry. Here in the port of Marissa, there are 15 boats chasing blue whales. Next year, it's predicted there'll be 100. There are small time operators through their ignorance, they might be too close to whales. Chitral Jayatalaki is a naturalist with Sri Lanka's biggest tourism company. He wants new laws to protect the whales. We know that the world is going to come to look at Sri Lanka as a fantastic location to do whale watching. And as more operators and boats get into sea, the more the need that these guidelines and discipline is uh, formalized. My dream is one day, if Sri Lanka is known as the land of the blue whale, Asher's blue whale sightings are plotted over a map of the ocean and a pattern is emerging. The blue whales are concentrated over the deepest underwater canyons. But this dark, dark, dark patch is where the canyon is and you can see our sightings are pretty much spot on on top of the canyon. So obviously the canyon, there's processes going on in the canyon that are encouraging the whales to hang around there you know, making it more productive, giving them more food. The biggest living creature eats one of the smallest. Krill, tiny shrimp, about the size of a 10 cent piece. They need as much as four tons a day. Wow, look at that. It's so close. This is amazing. This is an amazing experience. It's almost like, I feel like I've almost never seen a whale before. I'm, I get that excited. Oh, ah, it's just phenomenal, I don't know. But there is an unpleasant side to Ash's research. I wouldn't even describe it as fishy. It's kind of, yeah, it's not pleasant. This is blue whale poo. And yes, it's orange. So what scientifically can we learn from this? One thing is when you see it, you know immediately that this is a feeding area. And then on top of that, you know, you can find out what species they're feeding on, what kind of krill. There are other whales here as well. These are sperm whales. They're far more sociable and even hang around long enough for me to get in the water for a closer look. But it's blue whales we're here to see. And out of the blue comes our closest encounter. Look how close he is. 
This whale is four times the size of our boat. Oh my God, he's going to come straight for the boat. And it accidentally hits us. Oh, I actually thought as the whale came up, it lifted the boat up out of the water. For a moment there, I thought that we were going to topple over. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't an aggressive move on the whale's part. We were switched off. We were just sitting in the ocean. I think we took it by surprise because we were so stealthy at that point. So good encounters happen to those who wait. <laughs> every encounter means I learn something new. You know, every time I go out, every time I sit there, every time I follow a whale, I'm learning something new about their behavior. Oh, it's coming up, it's coming up. My hands are shaking, guys. My heart is racing. I can't even And draw. I have seen hundreds of these wheels. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, butterflies in the stomach. It's crazy. Every single sighting is phenomenal. And every single time, I remind myself just how mind-blowing lucky I am to be able to go out and sit with the largest animal on the planet. I mean, who wouldn't smile, right? Give us a high five. High five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Great stuff. And those pictures by our cameraman Jason Wotherspoon are regarded by some experts as the most revealing pictures ever captured of blue whales.